Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching this Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Let's keep going with the narrative we've carried here for the last couple of weeks by examining the satellite drive precipitation. Our latest update takes us through May 2nd, and as we noticed uh, a lot in the last couple of weeks, that there's been a region right in through here that has largely missed a lot of the recent precipitation. Same thing for this pocket over here in eastern Brazil. And the problem is, is there are places in Paraná, Santa Catarina, and southern Mato Grosso do Sul that did not measure precipitation throughout the month of April. Now, when we take a look at what this has done to that growing area, I want to show you a graphic from the CPC. So this is rain gauge data that goes back over the last 180 days. So we are essentially looking at almost the entirety of the growing season, both first and second growing season here. Uh, for southern Brazil. This goes back again to the beginning of November. Now the smooth line down the middle would represent average rate of accumulation of precipitation in inches. And then all the lines surrounding it represent a different time period over the last 40 years. Now what's important to note is that in southern Brazil, so this is only for southern Brazil, that as of late the dryness that came in at the end of March through April and now May has this as the third driest time period in the last 40 years according to the CPC data and again this includes Mato Grosso do Sul, Paraná and Santa Catarina in the northern part of Rio Grande do Sul and you know that it's been wetter in Rio Grande do Sul. But it's very similar to a year ago. Um, so when you look back to 2019 into 2020, that's what this color, uh, this line represents. We also shut things down, you see right here, pretty early. But it's been extremely dry in that area. And as we look right now, this is the setup. Going through the beginning of this week, there's a frontal boundary right in through here that's going to be moving out of Argentina uh, in toward Uruguay. But the problem is I can just kind of extend a line here all the way into southern Brazil. This is a very large area of higher atmospheric pressure. And it's that front that's going to push against this to see if it can bring that moisture back into southern Brazil. But overall, the, the setup here, well, normally, if we were to see a strong monsoon, the flow would come around just like this. So can you see the difference overall here when we look at the service level flow and what we would expect to get this time of year? Uh, excuse me, this is a low level flow, 850 millibars, versus what we would get if we had a stronger monsoon. Now we put all that together, and what you end up getting is this animation. So as I played this forward, this is the European model looking at accumulating precipitation through the next 10 days. I'll let it play out all the way to the end, and then we'll talk about some of the individual features. Now what you see is there's a large donut hole right here where higher atmospheric pressure and weak flow aloft is limiting the moisture return. That includes Mato Grosso getting over toward Bahia, Tocantins, Minas Gerais, and then down to Mato Grosso do Sul, getting down here to, so to Sao Paulo. This is Rio Grande do Sul, excuse me, a Parna, Parna right here. It is Rio Grande do Sul that could get the benefit of that moisture from uh, the, the front. And then notice at the end of the time period, the European very aggressive on bringing in a lot of precipitation through Argentina. Now, I want to show you this also for the GFS. So we can see out there at the same time period, this is again through about day 10, um, very dry in the same areas and also wetter in the same areas as well. So when we see multi-model support through the next 10 days, the safrina crop in this area is continuing to stay drier. That uh, starts to really just put the pressure on this crop to, um, to try to finish in, in very, very dry conditions. And out there at the extended forecast, this would be the week two from the uh, ECMWF. We noticed that that weaker monsoonal flow plus the resistance of getting these fronts far enough to the north. They come through Argentina, very wet in through here, but they're not getting through into southern Brazil. So what do we notice is that Brazil's, almost the entirety of Brazil's growing area getting into week two, which gets us out to May 17th, um, is, is showing up on the drier side of things. So that narrative we talked about last week continues, and this is going to stress that Safrina crop moving forward. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll report back to you again on Thursday. Appreciate your attention. Talk to you then.